Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> what have we got in Granny Murray's shelves today, darling? Rachel, we're going to make a railway. Two lines. Do you like playing with three? That's my boy. Maybe coming round like choo choo. Who can make a noise like a tree? Choo choo. All aboard. <laughs> well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Lisa with Raymond. Hello there. Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Come on, we do honey pies and see everyone. Have a shot of the train, Sugar Plum. <laughs> We're having a bit of a railway day today, Raymond. Really? That's so exciting. So, what sort of things are you going to be doing? Oh, well, first of all, why don't you guys dress Claude up as an engine driver? <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, why don't we steam over here for a bit of a sit down? Oh, good idea. All aboard the Granny Murray Express. Choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> So, you're having a special train day. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Oh, I know. I'm taking the children to see some trains. But do you have any inside information about the railways? Well, oh, well, it's hard work for a start and everything has to run like clockwork. Timing is the key. Timing? <laughs> Timing. You see, the trains have to leave on time and arrive on time. Oh, yes. And in the boofy car, everything has to be timed to the second. I have to know just the right time to smile at the passengers and then I have to know the right time to start pouring the tea so we aren't going around a bend because I might spill it. Oh, I'm sure. No, no. A waste can't time. I mean, a, a time can't waste. I mean, I, I mean what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> darling, I think you're getting a wee bit muddled. <laughs> Remember, take one thing at a time. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's better. Do you know, I'll have lots of chances to relax later on. I've got exactly an hour off in Helen's Bridge and I'm going to relax and go for a walk on the beach. Oh, good for you. Claude's dressed. <laughs> Look at you, Claude. What do you think, Raymond? Well, you could drive my train any day, Claude. <laughs> Here you are, Daddy. Ooh, thanks, Lisa. A smiley sun picture. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. <laughs> well, I better get off to work. Come on, then. <laughs> Bye. Now remember, take one thing at a time. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, will you keep a wee eye on Raymond? Make sure he gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! OK, left to the station I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, taxi! Hello, tank! Hello, trolley! Hello, plank! Hello, lorry! Hello, bank! I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! You told me the way I go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. 
Thanks for that. Now what? Oh yeah, I need to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, Lisa's son picture. Oh. <laughs> now it's time to start work on the Sunshine Special. Oh. <laughs> Nine o'clock. We are off. Hey there, Raymond. Hi, Dr. Juno. And where might you be off to on this fine and glorious morning? <sighs> I'm going to spend the whole day chilling out on Helen's Bridge Beach. Aha. Uh -huh. Then why don't you try one of my special fruit cocktails? It's called a chill out, chill down. Oh, sounds perfect. So, have you got the day off work? Oh, it's going to be fantastic for getting about work and just relaxing. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, you're telling me. Everyone needs to switch off and relax sometimes. Oh, well, this will relax you in a second. That's £1.50, please, madame. There you are. <laughs> I'm going for a walk in Helensbridge Beach myself later. Oh, good. Chill out and go for a paddle. Oh, well, I hadn't planned on paddling. I haven't got any beach stuff with me. No? Here, have my spare towel. Oh, thanks. As your doctor, I order you to chill. Oh. <laughs> I wish you and me were off to the beach together, Lisa. I love to skip in rivers evening, the rivers evening, go by the sea. I love to skip in rivers evening, go rivers evening, go that's for me. Wow, can you see the train islands? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look at all the lovely colours on it. Oh, they're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. How many trains can you see? I can see two. I can see. Oh, Lisa, I wonder if your dad's on that train, what do you think? Yeah. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, on my towel will soon be back. <laughs> Dead to you. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Off on my travels, soon coming back, Lisa. <laughs> hey, Raymond, you thinking of Lisa? Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> you caught me taking some time out, Rudy. And what about you? Are you off to have fun somewhere today? Hey, I'm always having fun. I'm delivering a load of swimming shorts to my mate Terry in Helen's Bridge Market. Oh, I bet they sell like hotcakes in this hot weather. Hey, Raymo, I reckon you should buy a pair. You would be the coolest dude on the beach in a pair of these. Oh. Do you think so? Besides, you're going to need a pair of swimming shorts if you're going to take a dip in the sea during your lunch break. Oh, well, that's true. Oh, OK, I'll take this pair. There you go. They're yours for a tenner, mate. Oh, um, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Raymo. I'll be back later to spend it. <laughs> right. I've got my beach things sorted for later. But first, I'd better get down to some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Six, six, seven, seven, looking fine. Six, seven, seven, So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to the way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way I love my train Oh, we're arriving! Twelve o'clock, bang on time Helen's Bridge, ladies and gentlemen, all change <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Enjoy your walk on the beach <laughs> And don't forget to wear your new swimming shorts, Raymond. Bye! <laughs> of course I won't. See you both soon Right Oh, 
Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, you know, Dr. Juno was right. It really makes you feel good to just relax and chill out sometimes. <laughs> I wonder if the water is warm. Oh, it's lovely. <sighs> wow, the sun is hot. <laughs> Whoops, mustn't forget my sun cream. <laughs> so, I wonder how you're doing, Lise, my little ray of sunshine. <laughs> I want to put this near the train. Here we go. Lovely. Right, the Granny Murray Express is ready to go. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we need our guard's whistles. There we are. Three, two, one, go! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how fast the wheels are going round, Mickey John. Oh, clickety clack, clickety clack. On my travels, soon be back. <laughs> I wonder if your dad's trains reach the seaside yet, Lisa? <laughs> I'll take you to the beach soon, Lise. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Uh, two coffees and a cheese sandwich, certainly, sir. Huh? Oh, where am I? This isn't the buffet car. Oh, <laughs> silly me. This is the beach in my hour off. <laughs> Hang on. One o'clock. Oh, one o'clock. I'm supposed to be back at work by now. Oh, where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray was planning a special train day, and she said that she was taking the children to see some trains later. I told her that the most important thing to remember about trains was timing. Everything has to run like clockwork. At nine o'clock, the train set off, and Dr. Juno came into the buffet car. She was off to spend the day chilling out on Helensbridge Beach. She lent me her spare towel, in case I fancied a paddle in my hour off. At 10 o'clock, Rudy came in. He was on his way to Helen's Bridge Market with lots of swimming shorts. So I bought a funky new pair. At 12 o'clock, we arrived at Helen's Bridge. I had an hour off to relax. So I took my towel and swimming shorts and went for a walk on the beach. I had a paddle too and then sat in a deck chair for a sunbathe. And then I realized I was late getting back to work. I must have fallen asleep in the sun. Now remember, take one thing at a time. Take one thing at a time. Okay, so the train will be leaving soon and I'm still on the beach in my swimming shorts. But what will I do first? Dress or run? Run or dress? Well, I have to take one thing at a time and keep calm. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do Beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job Before I finish this song Made it ah, Madam Two ice creams please Oh, how about two of my special Knickerbocker glories? Will it take long? Oh, not at all, madam. Don't worry. Everything in the buffy car is timed to the second. <laughs> and my knickerbocker glories are made with one thing at a time. <laughs> Tuck in. <laughs> oh, it's all sunshine here, Lisa. I hope you're happy too. There we are, Poppet. <laughs> are we all enjoying our juice? Mm, it's perfect on a hot day like this. Mickey John, you've not touched yours. Yeah, yeah, I, I just want to get the train back to the station first. Oh, I 
think you should have a job working with Lisa's dad on the trains, Mickey John. Woohoo! <laughs> Granny Murray. Come on, we in. Look who's here, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Oh, well, I've had a fast <laughs> day. <laughs> and are you going to say thank you to Granny Murray? Oh, thank come you here, Granny Murray. And it's a big thank you to you for me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Take one thing at a time. <laughs> it saved the day. Well, I never did. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off home. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a train driver because we were having a special train day. Woo woo! <laughs> Raymond told me that the secret of running a train is timing. Then I took Lisa and the children to watch the trains arriving and leaving Riversea Fingal Station. It was very exciting to hear the noise they made and wonder where they were all going. When we got home, Mickey John brought round a real working train set. He set it up in the yard and we watched the train whiz round the track. We made some lemonade and drank it as Mickey John played with the train set again. <laughs> He's just like a big kid sometimes. Raymond fell asleep on the beach at Helen's Bridge and nearly missed his train back home. But as soon as he took one thing at a time, everything was sorted. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got who and we've got Robbie. But don't just sit there, sausages. Come on, let's have some fun. And he's So, are we ready? One, two, three, go! Bouncy she goes! Yeah! Oh, do you love the egg and spoon race? Me too! <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> we've got Robbie and we've got Hope. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rebecca. With Mickey John. Hello there! Hello, Mickey John! <laughs> wow, it looks like a gymnasium in here! <laughs> well, we're practising for coming to your school later, Mickey John, for the sports day. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Here, why don't you dress Claude up as an Olympic gymnast, eh? Looks like he could win a few medals. <laughs> I race you to a comfy chair. Oh, oh, oh Mickey John! Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> so how are the preparations going for this sports day? Good so far, but I've still got so much to organise. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Everyone will have a great time. Well... Oh dear, something bothering you? The weather. You see, we really have to have sports day outside, but today is supposed to be a showery day with patches of rain all over the place. Well, don't worry, pet. Just wait for a break in the clouds and all will be fine. <laughs> you'll see. Oh, look at Claude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claude, you look like a champion gymnast. Well Here done, you are. guys. Oh, what's that, Rebecca? Oh, is that for me? Thank you, Rebecca. This must mean that I'm a champion too, just like Claude. That's lovely, Rebecca. <laughs> and you're my champion too. Come on. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> now remember, just wait for a break in the clouds and all will be fine. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work. 
work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people! He's on his way to work today. Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you! You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? That's right, time for the tie. All snazzy and ready to go. I'll hang Rebecca's medal up here so that everyone can see it and be inspired by it. Oh, hopefully we'll have a few people winning medals here too. Ooh. Good morning, everyone. That's it, get yourself settled. Great, that's everyone. I hope you've all remembered that today is a special day at Roundhouse Primary because it's sports day. <laughs> Maybe some of you have been doing some training. Yeah. Me too. Now, who can tell me what happens on sports day? Yes. Running races. And yes. Jumping races. Gymnastics. I've done a drawing of the playing field here on the board. Here's the long jump. And down here is the high jump. And I know that some of you love running. So here's the racetrack. Now, first or last, it doesn't matter. It's the taking part that counts. And of course, as we're going to be joined by some younger visitors from the nursery school, we're going to have an egg and spoon race yeah. and a sack race. Yeah. Oh. So it's going to be an action-packed day. What I want you to do now is to make signs for all the events. Now, the signs must be bold and clear, and you can as use as much colour as you like. We are busy sorting out school sports day. I wonder how my little champion's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Granny Murray floors the sea, and there's big sharks in the sea, and they're all wee islands, and you have to jump round the islands and back to Granny Murray. Don't land for those sharks! Yeah, you go next, Tope. You go next. Watch out for sharks! <laughs> no! No, no! They'll bite your toes! <laughs> oh, don't fall in the sea! Oh, oh, Rebecca, your daddy would be proud if he could see you training now. Are you working hard, Daddy? Knock, knock! Hello, Louis. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Busy as usual? Yes, we're uh, making signs for Sports Day. That's why I'm here, actually. The head teacher asked me to collect a load of things from the council storerooms for Sports Day. Oh, right. Yeah, they're just outside. What do you want me to do with them? Well, the weather's looking a bit dicey, so you better bring everything in here until we need it. Okie dokie. There you go. Thanks ever so much for your help. That's no bother, Mickey John. I better get back to the ferry boat. Catch you later. Oh. Oh, there's still so much to do before sports day starts. I better get on with some hard work. Oh, 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 oh. 
joy when I go to school in the morning Teach them with my chums and see the children learning School day, work away I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching School day, work away Teaching to count and teaching to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away Oh, the secretary's smiling now she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue While the cookie cooks and serves the stew Answering the questions where and why How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Oh, lunch time, everyone, off you go. See if you can put in a bit of training in the playground. Oh, time for a sandwich. Bobby, hi, how are you? Sorry to interrupt your lunch. It's OK. Shall we get started? Started? On our practice for gymnastics for beginners. I thought we said 12 o'clock. Oh, of course we did. Sorry, Bobby. That's all right. I would have liked to have done it outside, but it's raining a bit. Raining? Oh, no, this could be a disaster. That's all right. I'm sure it will pass. Let's get started. Right. Um, I haven't really done this before. It's for beginners, remember. That's me. And seeing you join in will encourage the children to have a go. Let's do a warm-up. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. And let's have a stretch and twist. Oh, so far, so good. How are you with headstands? Oh, I've never tried one. Watch. Wow, that's fantastic! Your turn. Right. Hey. Oh. oh, I can't get the hang of this. Maybe we should try something else. Something easier. Bunny hops. Oh. Two hands on the floor, squat down, and then as you put your hands up, you jump your feet forward. Seems simple enough. Ooh. Good try, have another go. Oh, well done, Mickey John. That was really good. <laughs> Rebecca would be very, very proud of you. That's the wee and the next one. Oh, good girl. Now jump. Got it. Do you feel that? Whee! Come on, Rebecca. That's the wee. That's it. And jump. Boing! Boing! Hi. Boing! Woohoo! Oh no, wait a minute. It's starting to rain. Oh, we'll have to go inside. Oh, never mind. We'll have to go and get ready soon anyway to go and see Dad. Are you having fun, Daddy? My Rebecca will be here soon. Hello, Mickey J. Oh, hi, Dr. Juno. Oh no, is it raining? Oh, it's just the shower. I'm here to do first aid for sports day. Oh, that's quite a first aid kit. Oh, you don't think anyone's going to get hurt, do you? Oh, no. Usually at sports day, first aid is just a matter of giving someone a cuddle when they fall on their bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a relief. Well, I'd better go and sit up then. Good all. What's all this lot? Oh, it's all the race equipment for later. Shouldn't they be out on the sports field? You're cutting it a bit fine. Dr Juno's right. I am cutting it fine. I've been working really hard organising sports day, but I still haven't set everything up. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I took Rebecca to Granny Murray's house. All the children were getting into training for sports day, 
but the weather wasn't very good, so Granny Murray decided to do the training indoors. The rain was just about holding off as I set off to work. At 9 o'clock, the children and I planned all the races for sports day, and the children made some lovely signs for the races. At 11 o'clock, Louis arrived. She'd brought lots of equipment for the sports day. At 12 o'clock, Bobby came to practice for our gymnastics for beginners display. We had to practice indoors because of the rain. At 1 o'clock, Dr Juno came to set up her first aid post. She was surprised to see that all the sports equipment was still in the classroom. I still hadn't got everything organised because of the rain. Now remember, just wait for a break in the clouds and all will be fine. Wait a minute! It stopped raining! There's a break in the cloud! At last! It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's gonna show us we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Let the sport begin! Yay! Come on down here, kids. Come on. I hope Rebecca's watching me. Ready, steady, go! Well done! Oh, put it back on the well. Yay! Clever girl! Well done, Rebecca! Clever girl! Now we'd better get home before Dad gets there before us. <laughs> I love you, Come Daddy. <laughs> John, come on, wait. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, you yes. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying just wait for a break in the clouds and all will be fine. Save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off, eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a champion athlete and the children and I decided to get into training for sports day. The weather was a bit damp, so we trained indoors first. We did some jumping training and later on we did some bouncing training. Mickey John waited for a break in the clouds and the sun came out and the sports day was brilliant. The children took part in the egg and spoon race and the sack race. Uh -huh. Oh, it was great fun. Did you enjoy yourself? Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Brandon and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's have some fun. <gasps> What's some Granny Murray's shelf? 
jet engines. Well, we've got a deal and we've got Brandon, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Tina. Yes, with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Oh, we're all ready to fly in a plane. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, here. Now you're here, my darling. We'll do something new. Why don't you dress Claude up ready for a trip in an aeroplane? Oh. oh, and why don't we fly over there? Oh, why not? <laughs> I'm in such a state this morning. I've got so much to do that my head is spinning round and round. <laughs> Chuck and Louie have got a concert at school today, so I said I'd pick up Chuck's case from the house. Or was it from Dr Juno at the hospital? Oh, I've got it written down somewhere. Then I've got to get Chuck and Louie to the airport, and on top of all that, the garage is in a real mess, and I haven't got the time to sort it out. Well, I'd better go and get started. <laughs> now listen, Tina. Just do things one step at a time and you'll get where you want to go. Mm, I hope so, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Will you look at Claude, all dressed as a pilot and ready to fly a plane. <laughs> well done, my treasures. That's for you. Oh, for me? Oh, thanks, Liz. It's a plane. <laughs> That'll remind me of all the things I have to do today. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my darling. See you later. And remember, just take things one step at a time and you'll get where you want to go. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine Show me the way I go. Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Left! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for helping me get to work. Okay, right now it's time to get changed for work. All dressed up and ready to go. But where's my list of things to do? Maybe I've left my list in the taxi. Ah, there it is. Now what's first on it? Pick up Chuck's case from Dr Juno. Right, to the hospital it is then. Tina, how are you today? Well, I'm a bit frazzled, to be honest. <laughs> Do you have Chuck's case for me? Oh, here it is. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, lovely. I'll just take it and go. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, dear. Mm. Oh, don't worry, I'll help. Hey, those are my spotty pyjamas. <clears throat> I suppose she can borrow them. I don't mind. Right. Is that everything? That's it. <laughs> I made this as a surprise for Louis and Chuck. <laughs> it's a present for the concert tonight. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Right, I really must be off now. <laughs> See you, Dr. J. Thanks, <laughs> Tina. Bye. Oh, I nearly forgot. What time have I to take Chuck and Louis to the airport? Or at four o'clock after the concert at the school. Right, Jarvin. Sorry I'm in such a rush. <laughs> Lisa must nearly be at nursery school by now. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Bye bye. Oh, I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. I've got to pick up my costume for tonight, but I'm in a bit of a rush. Ah, uh, you and me both. <sighs> well, maybe I'll get a chance to tidy up a bit. What show are you doing, Raymond? It's Old Mother Riley tonight. Where's me daughter, Kitty? <laughs> Silly. Oh, it's one o'clock three times. <laughs> oh, careful, Raymond. You nearly put your dress in yesterday's beans on toast. This place really needs a clean-up. Well, I'm doing my best, Raymond, but I've just got so much on today. I guess this can wait till tomorrow, eh? <laughs> I'll see you later, love. Good luck with your show. Or as they say in show business, break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, time to go on with my working day. City roads are waiting. Big lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep the trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi, taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the ride Pretty pink taxi, she's going Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Time for a little break before my airport trip. Or was there something else I had to do? Pick up Louis's case from Rudy. I'll have to go to the market. Hi, Rudy. I've come to pick up Louis's sick case. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Tina. It's just down there at the side of the store. OK. Uh, it isn't here, Rudy. Isn't it? I put it there this morning. No, I can't see it anywhere. I... Oh, <laughs> I found it. It's uh -huh. under all your pineapples. Uh, could you take these? 
Um, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to mess up your display, Rudy, but I really need to get back to the garage. But are you okay, Tina? You seem a bit flustered. Well, I have to get Chuck and Louie to the airport soon. What time does the school concert finish? Four o'clock. Ooh. Not much time then. But if I'm very lucky, I might have time for a quick cup of tea before we go. <laughs> okay. See you later, Rudy. Bye bye, Tina. Um, um, pineapples? Anyone? Time for that cuppa. I wonder what Lisa's doing right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Please fasten your seat belts. The plane is about to land. Thank you for flying with Granny Murray Air. <laughs> I miss you, Mummy. No sign of Chuck or Louie. And they should be here by now. If they don't get here soon, we'll be late to the airport and they'll miss their flight. Well past four o'clock now. Today has just flown by. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. The children were making aeroplanes and they dressed Claude up as a pilot. I told Granny Murray what a busy day I was going to have. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the garage. The place was in a right old mess. I didn't have time to clear it up. I went to the hospital to pick up Chuck's case from Dr Juno. <laughs> We had a bit of trouble with that. At three o'clock, I remembered I had to pick up Louis's case from Rudy at the market. We couldn't find the case at first and then discovered it under a mountain of pineapples. At four o'clock, I had a quick cuppa and got ready to take Chuck and Louis to the airport. They'd just finished a concert at the school. Of course, Chuck and Louis are waiting for me to pick them up at the school. But I'll be late. They'll miss their plane. They'll miss their concert in Paris. Now remember, just take things one step at a time and you'll get where you want to go. One step at a time. First thing, don't panic. Then drive carefully to the school and we might just have enough time to catch that plane. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to do it I'm going to do it I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to sort it She's going to sort it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Oh, thank goodness we made it just in time And Chuck and Louie are safely away Now I'm going to go and get some postcards for Lisa So she can see where I've been today It's fantastic, girls. Oh, you've done such a good job. It's the glitter's my favourite. I hope your mummy got Chuck and Louie to the airport in time, Lisa. I'm thinking of you, mummy. Tina! <laughs> Look who's here, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a nice day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Yeah. Well, you say thanks to Granny Murray. Oh, Thank I'm you, Granny Murray. <laughs> and thanks to me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. You can't do everything at once. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you'll want to be. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hacking, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning. What was really special about today? Well, the children dressed Claude as a pilot because we were making toy planes this morning. Lisa gave Tina a plane to put in her taxi to remind her of all the things she had to do today. Then Lisa went to nursery. After that, we made a chair of plane and I flew us to faraway places. <laughs> we had a bit of a bumpy landing though. And then we made a special plane mobile so our planes could fly around the living room. And while we were doing that, Tina was watching Chuck and Louie fly off to Paris. She got them to the airport just in time after her very busy day. And as I said to Tina, just do things one step at a time and you'll get where you want to go. <laughs> and now I think it's time for you to go. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs>